This is Engineers Unplugged. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm Lauren, and this is Engineers Unplugged. I'm here with my buddy Jay and my buddy Simon, um, but they don't actually know where they were going to stand, so that thing is all flipped off or between each other. Um, what are you guys going to talk about today? We're going to talk about Splunk. Oh, congrats. Awesome. No, all right. actually, we're going to talk about, well, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about Splunk, and we're going to talk about um, why people are talking about Splunk. It's a, right. it's a whole meta thing. I know. I just had an inception moment. Okay, I'm going to let you two talk, and I'm going to get out of the way. All right. So, yeah, today we're going to talk a bit about uh, where Splunk is fitting into the, the Cisco ecosystem, but even more importantly, um, I, I am not an analytics guy, so I'm going to ask some questions from the heart. It's a genuine kind of a question and answer period. But I do hear about Splunk an awful lot in what I do on a regular basis. And the question that comes up to my mind and, 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 and realis realistically is, what is so special about Splunk? Why are people talking about it so much? Okay, that's a great question, Jay. I tried to and come up with them, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So what makes Splunk so different is, well, we're a single piece of software and we're a platform for machine data. So one of the things that differentiates us is we can take in any type of data. So when I say any type of data, we talk about analytics, maybe you want to look at your Twitter data, and apparently people love my Twitter handle. Yeah. Uh, maybe you want Which to look doesn't at, really exist, by the way. Maybe you want to look at logs, maybe you want to look at some database data, maybe it's something, basically anything textual. Well, when you say that we're taking in data, is this, is this user data, or is this uh, switch data, is this uh, compute data, or logs? It can be what all of those about? things. Okay. So that's, that's one of the beauties of Splunk. You don't have okay. to know the format or what things look like before you put it into Splunk. So our single piece of software, it will take in all these data sets. The only requirement is that it's textual. It'll collect it, it'll index it, and then it'll give you the power to search, do correlations, and powerful analytics. Okay. So uh, when, we, when we extrapolate this into a, a data center like, like Cisco's ecosystems, exactly. So where we've got compute, we've got networks, and we've got storage, what kind of advantage does a Splunk analytics um, set give us overall? Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, one, one of the key differentiators that we have is what we call a schema on the fly or a late binding schema. Okay. So what that means is instead of your traditional database where you have to format all the data before it goes in, we take a reverse approach where put the data as is, it's in its raw format, then as you search it, as you want to look at it as your user, that's when we build a schema around it. So it's, it's late binding. Is so, he dancing? Oh, that's a guy. That's a guy, it's a computer screen. Okay. Um, so how's that different? Well, that means any new data set, you don't have to rebuild your database. That means any, anything you want to put in, whether it's routing data, switch data, uh, actually the UCS exhaust, or you want to pull stuff from your API, you can put all of that in and do correlations and analytics across all of it in a single piece of software. So there isn't this huge stack of all these servers and One's a web server, one's an app server, there's a database. No, there's none of this. It's just one piece of software can be virtualized or, or deployed on a UCS hardware. Okay, so how do you differentiate then between you know, the, the control data of, of like a switch, you know, switching uh, functionality and, and the, you know, the computing functionality and, and actual database information that will come in that has a, a different kind of query that you apply to it? Got it, got it. So. Uh, I would tell you it's secret sauce. Ah, but we've uh, we've spent a lot. In other words, the one question I shouldn't have asked. We've spent a lot of time and money to engineer how we actually identify the data. Yep. So uh, I would tell you there's little elves or gnomes in there that do stuff. But uh, really, what happens is as the data flows through our pipeline, we'll just draw a little pipeline. Um, what happens is as we read it, we use regular expressions to identify and classify the data as we write it into our flat file time series index. So as it's written into our index, we identify or classify it as what we call a source type. So at uh, search time, we apply various parameters against that source type to identify it however you want. And so that allows us to differentiate database data to routing data to switching data or exhaust or logs. So I've heard of this term uh, just today, as a matter of fact, this connected analytics. Is that what you're talking about by extrapolating this out into a larger system, or is that something different? Yeah, I would say, it, uh, I would say it's very, we do things that are similar to that. Okay. Um, one of the beauties of Splunk is that you can put in anything that you want. 
I could put in stuff from my mobile phone, I can take in uh, a feed from Facebook, and the idea is that all of these data sets are relevant to doing your business, or maybe it's daily life, and being able to function successfully, or operating your infrastructure successfully. And uh, our goal is to just to collect everything and give you the ability to correlate across it and analyze it and visualize it. So give me an example of, 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 of a realistic benefit that you'd get using Splunk that you probably have to do it manually otherwise. I mean, uh, just a, a generic example that really makes a difference in terms of saving people time or, or, or okay. effort. So think of, think you work on UCS, correct? So UCS has various components. You manage them through, through your management console. Well, what Splunk is great at is we can take all those different data sets and we can tie them together and tell you where the, the hotspots are, but also correlate whether or not it's driven by something that's downstream, such as the storage depending on the network. Well, you don't want to blame the storage if it's really a network problem, how they're trying to talk to the between systems. I agree systems. with you completely. And that's what we do very well. Okay. And then, well, if that powers your business, we can also look at that business data at the same time. Maybe it's tying that to Twitter data because someone has dissatisfaction about something. All right, so overall, it, it basically in summary, we're looking at um, a, a kind of a, a, an end-to-end, -end, soup to nuts approach to being able to understand what is actually going on behind the scenes by using Splunk inside of the entire Cisco ecosystem, is that yeah, right? Yeah, the, the, the idea is that we make it simple in one, one piece of software to collect all these things and do whatever you want with it, whether it be analytics, visualizations, alerting, security, or IT operations. Excellent, sounds like a really interesting thing. Thank you. Thank you. You're a glue. All right, so your challenge now is to draw a unicorn sipping the special sauce. So, or the secret sauce. Secret sauce. The secret yeah. sauce. A unicorn sipping a the secret, secret sauce. sauce. I like the alliteration, okay? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. All right, here we go. Go for it. All right. That, that's that's delightful and disturbing. It looks more like a rabbit than it does a, you, wait. I'm going to stop. Good job. I'm, yeah, thanks. I'm just going to, I'm going to back away from the board right now. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you. No, thank you. He wins without question. No, it's terrible. All right, <laughs> and I'll see you on the next episode of Engineers Unplugged.